We do have breaking news just in. Michigan State University identifies more than 40 people who may have known about convicted sex offender Larry Nasser and former Dean William Strample's crimes. The U.S. Department of Education Office for Civil Rights ordered MSU to conduct that investigation, and Michigan State released the results today. University identified eight individuals and a number of people on an advisory council for the College of Osteopathetic Medicine who failed to report after being notified of the potential sexual misconduct. Now, we're taking a closer look at the report, getting the very latest details, and we'll share a comprehensive breakdown tonight at 6. Also breaking, President Trump wrapping up his visit to Kenosha, Wisconsin, a city where the shooting and wounding of a black man by police touched off protests and rioting. Now, he is there delivering a law and order message. Local force Devin Skillion in the newsroom with the latest on the President's Day. Yeah, Karen, Kenosha's mayor and Wisconsin's governor, both Democrats, did not invite the president. He decided to go to Kenosha to see the property damage done there and to talk with police. The president stepping right into the middle of a national debate that pits police violence against black Americans on one side, a law and order message on the other. With Attorney General William Barr at his side, the president arrived uh, in Illinois across the state line from Kenosha and headed to the city by, uh, torn by division after police shot Jacob Blake, black man leaving him thus far paralyzed. Anger over the shooting prompted protests that spun off riots and the arrest of an Illinois teenager for a fatal shooting in the middle of all the chaos. At a meeting of local officials in Kenosha, the president focused on police response to violence that he says is political in nature. To stop the political violence, we must also confront the radical ideology that includes this violence. Reckless far-left politicians continue to push the destructive message that our nation and our law enforcement are